Legend has it that Fidel Castro's guerrillas tried out their weapons on this tree more than 50 years ago. Today, Cuba's Sierra Maestra is an important place for Communist Party members. It's here that the former Cuban leader and his supporters planned a coup d'etat against U.S.-backed President Batista. This place is one of the high points of the combats of the Cuban Revolution. In 1956, 82 guerrillas took a boat from Mexico to attempt their first coup against the regime. But the landing failed, and most of the men died in the ensuing fight. Only a dozen, including Fidel Castro, managed to escape with their lives and set up base in the Sierra Maestra. Two years later, they headed to Havana, where they seized power in January 1959. They gave everything for this country to go forward, and we are grateful. We will always be grateful for the revolution. Today, the mountain has become one of the island's main tourist spots, welcoming thousands of visitors every year. Young members of the Cuban Communist Party also visit, making a kind of political pilgrimage. At the time, they were forced to fight. What we have to do today is to really fight the bad that has been done, which means work with the youth so we know our history and roots, so we can become better revolutionaries and better communists. With two million visitors every year, tourism is central to the Cuban economy, helping the country's past contribute to building its future.